Hi, welcome to regularization approach. Regularization is preventing the model from overfitting by adding extra information into the training samples uh, in, in the given data set. That means we will add more number of training samples into the data set to avoid the uh, uh, overfitting. It maintains all the variables or features in the given model by reducing the magnitude of the variable uh, for better performance and generalization of the model. That means which whenever you are taking the uh, data points, I mean a sample, it will have both magnitude and direction. So here uh, this length is the magnitude, this length is the magnitude of the uh, data point and the direction also will be uh, given by using the angle. So here the magnitude will be reduced by using the uh, regularization approach or uh, to avoid the overfitting. The primary process is regularizing or reducing the coefficient. Uh, that means weight here we are using uh, the weight parameter with all the uh, features. So in the data point weight parameter is playing major role. So here the uh, weight parameter of the given each and every features x uh, is uh, reducing or towards the zero that is reducing the magnitude of the features without uh, changing the number of features here the number of features should not be disturbed the only the uh, the magnitude this this magnitude of the feature can be updated working principle of the regularization is by adding the penalty parameter or complexity term into the complex model so we have to add penalty parameter another name is the complexity term uh, for example we will take a simple linear uh, regression here the linear regression is having the equation theta 0 x 0 multivariable linear regression this is called multivariable linear regression because we are having multiple features so each feature is having its own parameter theta 0 theta 1 theta 2 until theta n and also we are going to add uh, additional uh, pen penalty parameter here x0 is the bias it will be always 1 that's why we will not use uh, x0 in the equation always we use it to mention theta 0 because x0 is 1 so theta 0 into 1 theta 0 theta 1 x1 uh, etc theta n xn like that we will mention in the equation here uh, theta are parameters and b is n intercept and here uh, cost function for uh, uh, calculating the total cost of the given uh, regression uh, we will always use uh, either least square error method or mean square error method here this is the least square error method is given here uh, the y dash y dash is calculated by using the theta that is the multiplication of uh, parameter and feature so what we will do theta 0 x 0 theta 1 x 1 theta 2 x 2 so that's what mentioned here this uh, uh, data so now uh, the linear model is optimizing the theta 0 and uh, b to minimize the error here uh, m is the number of samples n is the number of features here you look at that we are having j equal to 1 to n j equal to 1 to n so n is the number of features in the given data set that means you may have the data set the data set may have here x1 x2 x3 so here n equal to 3 then here m m number of samples available m number of rows here theta 0 will not be penalized that we will see in the next slide uh, theta 0 is not penalizing uh, the last function for linear model is uh, lsc or msc uh, here we are having two types of regularization approaches for the regression models uh, ridge regression which is using the l2 norm so it is called l2 regularization a lasso regularization least absolute shrinkage and selection operator uh, which is using the l1 no norm so it is called l1 regularization uh, first we will see the l2 regularization uh, l2 regularization will be used whenever the linear or polynomial regression model is uh, uh, giving poor performance when uh, the features are having 
uh, high collinearity between them the regression is solving the problems even uh, which is having more number of parameters that means when we will have the more number of parameters whenever we are having the more number of features x x1 x2 xn at that time each feature will have its own parameter so we will have the more number of parameter even though our problem statement is having more number of features than uh, number of samples samples may be uh, here uh, 100 uh, features may be here we are having uh, 150 so you look at that number of features are 150 number of rows samples are 100 even though in this case uh, we can apply the ridge regression uh, to solve the problem efficiently uh, ridge reg regression is defined as the combination of linear regression and l L2 norm. L2 norm means here you look at that we are using this uh, 2 uh, in the uh, power. So that is why it is called L2 norm. Uh, here uh, the regression is um, small amount of bias is added into the uh, model to get better long term predictions, which is, uh, which is one of the regularization technique to reduce the complexity of the model. So here um, the penalty term is added that is the bias is added uh, with, with the uh, given e equation here the cost function is given that is the j of theta which is uh, here we are using the uh, least square error method right so with this we are adding additionally penalty parameter you look at that this is the penalty parameter okay lambda summation of j here number of features j in the sense number of features 1 to n um, um, norm so this we have to read as a norm this we have to this symbol we have to read as a norm norm theta j square so this is uh, l2 normalization that's why we are using l2 regularization name uh, which is calculated by multiplying the lambda so lambda is uh, again which is also one of the penalty parameter here we are adding with the coefficient theta here you look at that uh, j is starting from 1 j is starting from 1 j is number of features j is number of features so here uh, uh, we are starting from theta theta 0 uh, plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2 like this and etc theta n xn here theta 0 will not be penalized because the bias which is having 1 theta 0 into 1 x0 is always 1 so here theta 0 no need to penalize that's why we are starting from the uh, j equal to 1 right so here uh, the penalty term uh, is regularizing the coefficients of the model that means what is the regularization uh, which is uh, updating the theta values close to zero close to zero so when you are updating the uh, theta value close to zero automatically your total cost total cost that is total error total error will be close to zero that is the main uh, purpose of this l2 regularization here as i told you uh, the amplitude of the uh, coefficients will be decreased to reduce the uh, models complexity uh, if the values of the lambda tend to zero you look at that here uh, we are using the uh, penalty penalty term this is the penalty term here if you make the uh, lambda is zero then this entire term will become uh, zero so it is again it is uh, uh, linear simple linear regression which is appearing as a simple linear regression that's what given here when you are making that lambda is zero then it will be uh, appearing as a simple linear regression model hence the model is uh, resembling to the linear regression model when you are giving minimum uh, lambda value that is close to zero and next one is uh, uh, least absolute shrinkage and selection operator here uh, which is using the l1 norm here in the power power of the uh, theta which is one which is one that's why it is called the l1 norm since it is using the l1 norm uh, with the linear regression it is called l1 
regularization which is also reduces the complexity of the model by adding additional information uh, i mean additional samples into the or data set here the penalty term is having absolute weights why it is calling absolute weights means you look at that when you are using the power one which is the absolute value which is the absolute values that's why it is uh, called absolute weight uh, here which is uh, uh, possible to shrink that slope slope because in uh, linear regression equation we are having the uh, a slope we are having the slope that is the theta okay theta value so the theta value able to uh, make into zero due to some absolute values due to absolute values so uh, in regress regression it can uh, only shrink to close to the zero that is the major difference between um, uh, linear i mean uh, l1 regularization and l2 regularization l2 regularization uh, make the theta uh, values close to the zero but uh, there is the possibility of making theta equal to zero in l1 regularization due to absolute values right uh, the cost function is given here this is the cost function by using the least square error method the penalty parameter is added here with uh, norm one so here with norm one we have added lambda is again the range is the range of the lambda is zero to one uh, when again if you apply the lambda is zero it will look like a simple linear regression model so uh, when we can use uh, uh, l1 regularization when can we use uh, l2 regularization the major difference is here ridge reg regression is reducing the overfitting model with including all the features it will not ignore any feature it will not ignore any feature suppose if i am having the 50 features x1 to x50 it will not it will not ignore any features it will include all the features but in uh, l1 regularization there is the possibility of making theta value to zero due to absolute value so when it is making theta zero all uh, automatically what is our equation equation is theta zero x zero plus theta one x one plus etc theta n x n when you are making this theta value is zero automatically this feature value will be ignored or omitted so there is the possibility of shrinking the coefficient into zero that means okay we are making that parameter coefficient means here coefficient of the feature is theta coefficient of the feature uh, theta able to shrinking close to i mean into the zero equal to zero so there is the possibility of avoiding the features that that it reduces the number of features so by reducing the number of features it will uh, uh, uh apply the regularization so this is the major difference if you want to reduce the number of features then you can go with uh l1 regularization but if you want to include all the features then you can go with uh, uh l2 regularization that is the difference between uh, l1 and l2 regularization thanks for watching